Internal child sex trafficking is the systematic grooming, movement and sexual abuse of British under 18s within the boundaries of the country. Ella and I have been working together on a collaborative project that made up the first year part of the PhD work and we were looking at internal child sex trafficking. What distinguishes this crime from most typical forms of child sex abuse is that offenders appear to be operating in groups or networks, which is very unusual, and tended to be characterised by strong social bonds which predated the abuse, such as being relatives or neighbours or friends. We were able to negotiate access to sensitive police operational data and were given the support of the UK Human Trafficking Centre as well as a number of third sector agencies. It was the first piece of work really that I was aware of that really looked into what we've got today and how it, how it works and the patterns of behaviour. Once you've recognised those patterns of behaviour then you can start to put together practice and disruption tactics. That's the important part. The purpose of our research was to explore whether we could use science and engineering tools and techniques to address a complex social and crime problem. We primarily used two tools in this research project. The first one being crime scripting and the second one being social network analysis. Crime scripting is looking at deconstructing a complex crime into a series of behaviours and actions. You'll start off with finding and recruiting a victim, then you move into the grooming aspect of the crime and then you finally go into the abuse sequence. The value of being able to identify these key stages is it's another way to identify some pinch points which are just weaknesses in the chain of events that are occurring. So if you can find an area where the police or other agencies can focus all their resources and you're going to get a big win from that or be able to completely break up this pattern of abuse then that's obviously somewhere that the agencies should be focusing on. The second tool was social network analysis, which aims to understand the who of a crime. We use social network analysis to understand the constellations of victims and offenders, their relationships to one another, the overall structural properties of these groups, but also to understand where the weaknesses were and where the key figures were who might be the best targets for enforcement. We've had two academic journal articles published on this topic, and our work's also been referenced in two major government studies, the CEOPS National Scoping Project on Localised Grooming and the Government Action Plan on Child Sexual Exploitation. So although this may not appear to be traditional engineering, what we have done is applied logic and tools and techniques from engineering, more from a systems engineering approach and with the social network analysis have certainly applied some mathematical algorithms. It is depressing at times but it's very interesting subject matter and there's something quite fulfilling about knowing that what you're doing is going to make a difference. Where I'd like to see us in, in five years time would be with a much clearer understanding of the different people who commit this crime um, in the UK, the different ways it's committed and how we might tackle that more effectively and then in the long term to reduce the numbers of young people who are so severely damaged for a lifetime. Um, how can you be multiply raped and then pick up a normal life that you and I would expect to, to have?